to ETS. I'm Donna Lopez, and this is your channel message for December the 14th through to the 20th. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Let's see what the energy forecast is for this week, this whole week. Uh, let's see, what am I getting here? Well, I feel like there could be a little bit of some sadness that could come your way, but I want to say keep it at bay. Um, you might hear about somebody that had a loss or something, but, um, because I don't feel it real close to you, but I see you having a lot of feelings around it. Like you feel sad that that person lost that person. Um, so, so I do see some like compassion and sadness, but you don't want to be in that empathy they're saying, because I feel like you could absorb it a lot or take it on and make it, you know, where it's like, it's affecting you more than the person that actually experienced it. So they're saying instead just, you know, send as much love and turn that love volume up as high as you can and uh, do whatever you can to, to, to make life easier for the person that is experiencing this loss or this grief type situation that I'm feeling and sensing. All right. Um, hmm. Okay, I also hear that somebody's transition, I hear I just couldn't be me anymore. So um, I feel like this might be the anniversary of somebody's passing that's coming up. And they said they, they, they left because they just, they said I couldn't be me anymore. I didn't fit in my own skin any longer. Um, I outgrew the trouble I even got in. <laughs> You know, it's almost like when you get into trouble to avoid your pain and then the trouble even is you get bored with that. Um, they said, I wish I could just take an eraser and erase. Oh God, I feel so sad for this because they want to erase that they were ever here or that they ever ex existed. So there's still a lot of, um, so they're, they're bringing this in. This is a male that's coming in with me here. And they're saying that, you know, they're just sharing with me the feelings that they were going through and why and they left at this time. And that, let's see, they're just slowing me down quite a bit right now. They're saying just slow down because, um, They said they've learned to slow down. They've also learned that they do have value. And they pray and hope that their loss, the loss that they brought in, that it left you and others realizing your own value as well. Because everybody does matter. Um, it was just, you know, this was just a lifetime that he came in and kind of almost came in as a lost soul, but imparted a lot of wisdom. Used this lifetime to impart a lot of wisdom by leaving early and leaving that example to others. To slow down and to know that you are here for a reason. I feel like I'm getting a D with this, like a Dan. So that kind of a name, Dan, D. Okay, so first letter D. Um, yeah. All right. Let's see what else is coming up. All right, they're switching to something different right now. And they go, well, you know, opportunity only knocks once. <laughs> and, um, they say, or twice, or thrice. So somebody's coming in, they're being kind of playful. So they're wanting you to consider an opportunity that's going to come to you. But I also feel that, yes, you don't have to take it right now because it, it would come again, but also it would also prepare you for the second and the third offer to come. So there's some rewards or something good that's coming for you. So please be mindful and alert and pay attention. All right. I also hear something about travel with this. So perhaps uh, this is going to give you an opportunity to travel, but there's something good with that as well. All right. Mm -hmm. 
for a lot of you, I say I want to pull my sleeves up and really get to work. I feel like, you know, some of you are going nuts on your house. You're just scrubbing everything down everywhere. If you got a car, you're detailing it top to bottom. It's like you're ready to work and really get in there and, and just polish and spit shine everything. I feel like your energy is really getting built up. It feels really good. And um, you're going to feel really good at accomplishing what you've done as well. Yeah. Huh. For others of you, I feel like some of you are paving the way for others. It's so cute because they've got somebody with shoes on that have spikes in them and they're walking on the lawn and they're aerating the lawn. So that's to help the water go in and to keep the grass green. So there's somebody, uh, there's some of you around that are making things better for others, uh, teaching them, helping them, showing them opportunities because the green is also the, the cash and the growth and everything that comes with that. So um, a leader and a learner, I hear. So this person has been a learner, has learned many things, but also is a leader in the learning. So they are uh, helping others by walking the path themselves and preparing the way for others. Feels really good. Um, I hear an Eric. There's somebody named Eric with this as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah. For some of you, I hear some of you are trying to be so compassionate about something. It's like I'm trying so hard to be compassionate. I'm trying so hard to be understanding, and I feel like I'm knocking my head against the wall to like, please help me understand, and they're saying that it's not yours to understand, that it's the other person's lesson thing to understand, and it's not yours to understand. You wouldn't comprehend it, and um, so don't hurt yourself trying to understand because I feel like you want to understand so that you can compliment the other person, like help them be helpful. And it, it's it the best way for you to be helpful is to just stay in your lane, stay in your energy, and they will by they will naturally come around at their own time and in their own way, and with their own space around them. In other words, they need some space around them to really kind of feel into this change that's happening for them. Okay. And it's okay. They know that that's their nature too, that they, um, that's how they change. They get used to it first. They have to be quiet and kind of be with it. And it may look like they're troubled or like they're not doing it, but they are doing it. They're just getting used to it. That's all. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let me see what we got for that whole week. I just hear fearless, fearless. So go after it and um, be fearless and know, notice your strength. A lot of you have are very strong. You've really gotten the, you know, you've grown and you're, you're, you are strong in what it is that you do. Um, but they need you to, they want you to appreciate it and notice it in yourself. And, uh, yeah. And for some of you, you are getting ready to walk through a turnstile into a new path, into a new way of being you, doing what you do. Uh, I don't feel it right, right away, but I, I want to say I feel like a month. So, But it's beginning now. You're already seeing where you're going. And I feel okay because I feel such an ease. This is not a turnstile that goes like this. It's just a turn that goes. It's turnstile that just, whoop, you go in, you go right out, right away. And it just with such ease and such grace and... Um, it's really going to be beautiful because you'll see that you were just led there and that your patience for yourself and your trusting and following and being led accomplished where you wind up and what you wind up doing, the path you wind up being on. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's take a look and see if they have a card for this week. All right. Let's see. I've already shuffled these. So I get the one that I can't get the easiest, of course. All right. It says, I am free. I let go of old beliefs, any limitations I may be holding on to that hinder my growth. I return to the source of all inner programs that hold me in fear and doubt. I'm free to be all that I am, and I am master of my life. There you go. 